Hi everyone, Namaste. I hope you all are doing well and today we'll be working on releasing our tight hips. So with prolonged hours of sitting, our hip flexor gets tight and if you do activities like running or cycling, that also leads to tightness in hip flexor and muscle imbalances which leads to lower back pain. So our focus for today's practice is releasing our tight hips which will help you in releasing the stress or any pain from your lower back. So let's start. We're going to start this practice in butterfly pose, Badikonasana. So you're going to join your feet together, okay? You can get it closer or you can create more space. So see what you're comfortable with since this is just the first posture. So just take it easy and gently go forward, dropping your knees down. It doesn't matter how closer you go to the mat, that's fine. Just everybody is different. So we all might look different in poses. And then you just release your arms forward. Go as far as your lower back allows you. Okay. So you can stop at the point where you feel the maximum stretch. And there is a good balance between effort and ease. And you are not in pain. And breathe. So stay here for a few seconds. And just try to settle in your thoughts for any yoga practice. It's very important that you are present. So just anything, if it's distracting you, settle in. Stay connected to your breath. That will help you keep in this moment so that you make the best use of your time here. And just finding a natural rhythm of your breath, which you can carry on throughout the practice. And then slowly, let's deepen our breath. We are going to take three deep breaths. Breathing in through your nose, take a deep breath in through your nose, to your belly, to your spine. Breathe in. And breathe out longer and slower. Continue breathing in through your nose. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out longer and slower. One more. Breathing in through your nose. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out longer and slower. On your next exhalation, gently take your arms up. Breathe in. Lengthen your spine, breathe in, breathe out, arms down. Okay, from here, you're going to release your left leg, extend it and take your right leg over left leg. Ground your right foot and hug your right leg in with your left arm and then gently look to your right, hugging your right leg in, flex your toes for your left foot. So you're releasing your right hip. Your right hand is behind, taking your right arm back, just behind your right hip. Draw your right shoulder back, press into your right fingertips, lifting the crown of your head. Breathe. And then slowly come back to the center and then you rest your right heel on top of your left knee and draw your left leg in, okay? And then just take your arms back, open your fingers wide. Flex your toes for your right foot, pressing into your left foot, pressing into your palms and just lift your heart. Take your head back gently, dropping your right knee down towards the mat. Breathe. Again, a great release for your hips. Keep breathing. Stay here for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come back. To the neutral position release your right leg now you're going to take your left leg over right leg and hug your left leg in and take your left hand back behind your left hip pressing into your left fingertips lifting the crown of your head hugging your left leg in with your right arm get your attention to your breath observe the sensation you feel in your left side Observe any discomfort you feel anywhere. 
focusing on your breath breathing in through any discomfort for five four three two one back to the center and this time you're going to rest your left heel on top of your right knee draw your right leg in arms back open your fingers wide Flex your toes for your left foot, drop your left knee down towards the ground, press into your palms and just lift your heart. Feel the release on the left side, observe any difference you feel in the right and left side. The good way to understand your body through yoga. Breathing for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Gently get your head to neutral position, release your left leg, okay? And now you're going to open your legs wide, as wide as you are comfortable. Ground your hips, sit long and feel free to bend your legs if you need to. Ground your heels, okay? And then just stretch your arms up, breathe in. Breathe out, just taking your arms forward. Just go as far as your lower back is allowing you and then Settle in at one point where you can hold this for a few seconds. If you think this is not deep for you, you can try taking your arms slightly more forward. Stay here, keep breathing. On your inhalation, stretch your arms slightly more forward. On your exhalation, take your weight back towards your hips. Breathe for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly draw your arms in. Take your arms up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Arms down. Okay. Now take your legs in and we'll do windshield wiper. Okay. So I'm just going to show you the side view. Taking your arms back and then just move your legs side to side. So this is really good for releasing hips again. Gentle movement for five, four, three, two and one. Okay, back to the center. And now we come on all four position. And from here, you're going to step your right leg forward and push your left leg back. So you're working on your hip flexor now, okay? The muscles above your thigh, which gets tightened and shortened with the activities like sitting for very long or you exercise, you cycle. So very important to release this because tight hip flexors can lead to lower back stress, okay? So stay here and breathe. If you want to go deeper, you can push your right hip slightly more forward. Expand your chest, relax your shoulders, breathe. If you feel comfortable, see if you can release your hands, okay? And put your right hand on your right knee. Now while you're doing it, don't put all the weight forward on your right leg or right knee. Yeah, you should engage your belly. Just pull your navel in gently towards your spine. So you engage your core muscles. And then you lift your left arm up. Breathe in, breathe out, taking your left arm to the right. Right hip slightly forward. Keep engaging your lower belly. Keep breathing for five, four, three, two, one. And then you put your left palm down and look back, drawing your right shoulder back, twisting. Also good for your lower back, releasing your hip flexor at the same time for five, four, three, two, one. And then you take your right foot to the edge of the mat and take your right hand in just next to the right foot, okay? And both your hands are shoulder width apart. Lizard pose, right hip forward, right knee is on top of your right ankle. If you feel comfortable, see if you can release your left knee off the mat. If you don't feel comfortable, Resting the left knee down is just good for you today. You can do that. Stay here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.
then you ground your left foot okay like this you can get your left foot one step in let your right leg be bent right hand just next to your right foot and you lift your left arm up you can look down look straight or look up right or forward breathe stay here for five four three two one left hand down and spinning your back foot rest your left knee down take your right leg in catch your breath we are going to switch side now so get your left leg forward this time push your right leg back your left knee is on top of your left ankle open your chest relax your shoulders and breathe just observing your right hip flexor any stiffness or tightness or discomfort you feel just breathe Stay here for five, four, three, two, one. Now, if you feel comfortable, lift your arms up. If you don't feel comfortable, you can always just stay in this position. It's fine, okay? We're just going to deepen the stretch of our hip flexor. Put your left hand on the left knee. Remember not to put all the weight forward on your left knee, okay? And right arm up and just leaning to your left. Breathe. Drawing your attention to your core muscles, your lower belly. Breathe for five, four, three, two, one. Now put your right palm down and your left hand is outside your left knee. And you just look back. Don't sink in your right palm. Okay, look back, drawing your left shoulder back, left hip forward, keep breathing. For five, four, three, two, one. Gently back to the center. Put your left hand in just next to the left foot. Take your left foot to the edge of the mat. Right leg is back. Left hip is forward. Lizard pose on the left. Breathe. Again, if you are comfortable, you can always lift your right knee up or feel free to rest it down breathe working on your hip flexors releasing your hips for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 then you spin your right foot take your right foot one step in left hand is down just next to the left foot take your right arm up left hip forward shoulders in line ground your right foot pressing it back on the mat keep breathing for five four three two one right hand down spin your right foot rest your right knee down take your left leg back and take a child pose joining your big toes together open your knees wide as wide as you're comfortable so that your abdomen can rest Comfortably in between your legs, stretch your arms forward, take your hips back towards your heels, take your forehead closer to the mat and breathe. Take one full breath here, breathe in through your nose, breathe out through your nose. Then you slowly lift up, come on your palms, you can take one downward dog, okay? So you're going to tuck your toes, lift your knees up, hips up, push your hips back, press into your palms, open your fingers wide and just push your chest back towards your legs, loosen up your neck, breathe. And then you're going to step your right leg forward and left foot one step in okay feel free to bend your right leg slightly it's fine plant your left palm down just in line with your right foot okay and open your body to the right reverse triangle pose and draw your right shoulder back press your left heel back 
on the mat. Extend your right arm up, right shoulder in line and don't sink in your left palm. Feel free to bend your right leg if you need to and don't hyperextend your right leg even if you are extending it fully. Breathe. For 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Right hand down and take your right leg back. Breathe. And then you switch side. Step your left leg forward, right leg back. Resting your right heel on the mat or closer to the mat. Resting your right palm in line with your left foot. Feel free to bend your left leg if you need to. Planting your palm down, pressing into your right palm. Open your body to the left. Extend your left arm up. Breathe. Stay here for five. Four, three, two, one. Left and down. Bend your left leg. Left leg back. Breathe. And from here, we're going to get into pigeon pose. So you're going to rest your knees down. Okay. And you're going to get your right leg forward. Flex your toes in for your right foot. So your right shin is parallel to the front of the back. Sometimes your right leg comes in, don't worry too much about that, okay? And put your hands in front of your right shin, push your left leg back. Now you have an option, you want to just sit on the right hip, if this is the maximum stretch for you, you can just stay here or you can lift up and push your left leg back, getting your right hip closer to the mat as much as you can. And you can stay on your palms or come on your forearms. We are going to spend a few seconds here. So just stay present, focus on your breath. Remember to flex your toes for your right foot. Breathe. Stay here, breathing into any discomfort you are feeling. Just breathe into that space. Enjoy some stillness. Stay here for last ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One. Slowly coming on your palms and sit on your right hip and then you get your left leg forward, okay? And your right leg back. Now again, maybe your left leg will be parallel to the front of the mat, maybe it is not fully parallel, don't worry. Flex your toes for your left foot, get your hands in front of your left shin. Option to just sit on the left hip or square up, okay? You can lift up, center your right leg, you can stay on your palms or on your forearms and breathe. Spending few seconds here, just bringing in some stillness, breathe in, observe the sensation you feel on the left side of your hip now, right hip flexor. Just settle in, focus on your breath. Stay here, stay present. For ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Sitting on your left hip, coming on your palms. And we make our way back to downward dog. So tucking your toes for your right foot, lift your right knee up, left leg back in downward dog. Breathe. And then from downward dog, we are going to come in Malasana garland pose. So step your right leg forward, right toes out, 
left leg forward left toes out lower down your hips get it forward option you want to just rest your palms down if that's more comfortable for you or you can lift up joining your palms together and then whatever option you've taken just push your legs out with your arms and breathe stay here for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 slowly release and then we just rest our hips down and lie down on our back hug your knees then gently swing side to side, massaging your lower back. Let your lower back relax. Get your knees closer to your body. And then you can make small circles with your knees from right to left for five, four, three, two, one and then you sit side five four three two one and then you rest your feet down and then you can end the practice in a butterfly pose sleeping butterfly pose joining your feet together dropping your knees towards the ground and then you can just rest your hands on your belly and let your body relax and breathe And just finding some moment of stillness towards the end of your practice. You can practice the stillness anytime you feel like but just sitting quietly or lying down quietly for a few seconds. And if you feel like staying here for slightly longer time, please feel free to do so. I'm going to leave you here. I hope this practice will help you release stress from your lower back. Thank you so much. Namaste and I will see you again.